Okay, so this is another example in finding the value of y given yung equation na kung saan yung right side of the equation is an inverse trigonometric function but this time inverse of cosine function or cosine to the negative 1x. Now for letter A, we have y equals arc cosine 1. Yung ating x dito ito. Okay, ito yung x natin. Uh, yung ating bang do... Uh, x value here is within the domain of our inverse trigonometric function cosine to the negative 1. Yes, nandun siya. Now, rewrite natin into another form yung ating given equation. So, this can be written as cosine y equal to 1. The question here is what is the value of y so that we, if we get the cosine of this angle is equal to 1. Now, kung titignan natin yung table of values natin for special angles, uh, cosine 0 is equal to 1. So, therefore, y is equal to 0. Okay? Na dun siya sa positive x axis. Okay? So, tandaan, ang range ng ating uh, y values, ang range ng ating inverse trigonometric function is from 0 to pi or from first and second quadrant lamang. Okay? So, ito yung sagot natin. y equal to 0. Okay? And for letter B, we have negative square root of 2 over 2. So, siya ba ay nasa domain of, of our inverse trigonometric function for cosine? Uh -huh. Negative square root of 2 over 2 is within uh, the, uh, the domain o na siya sa negative 1 to 2. Because this is square root of 2 is 1 point something divided by 2. So, that is less than uh, negative 1. Okay? So, nadun siya. Or greater than negative 1, I mean. So, therefore, nadun siya. So, we can write this as cosine y cosine y equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Now, ang values ng ating y is from first and second quadrant. Uh -huh. Yes, first and second quadrant lamang. Since this is negative, cosine is negative sa second quadrant. Therefore, our answer is supposedly is uh, greater than 90 or greater than pi over 2 but less than pi. Okay? So, what angle or what value of y so that if you get cosine of this angle, equivalent to square root of 2 over 2? So, you own square root of 2 over 2, that is cosine... Now, oh, well, cosine... Now wait, square root of 2 over 2 is 45 degrees, okay? Cosine 45, or this is cosine uh, pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Ibig sabihin, nandun yung sa sa second quadrant kasi negative. So ito yung ating square root uh, pi over 4. What we need is this one. So, that is uh, pi minus pi over 4, which is equal, equivalent to uh, 3 pi over 4. Okay? So, 3 pi over 4 yan. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 of 2 over 2. Okay? So, therefore, our answer is y equal to 3 pi over 4. Kasi negative. At siya dapat ay nasa second quadrant. Okay? So, ang sagot natin. Not uh, pi over 4. Because if you get cosine pi over 4, that is positive square root of 2 over 2. Pero yung atin is negative. Okay? So, therefore, this is our answer. Okay? So, on my next video, I'm going to give you another example. In finding the value of y, given yung ating inverse trigonometric function. Thank you.